Hey guys, good morning. It is 7.38. I'm stuck in traffic, headed to work. I haven't been stuck in traffic like this, like stop and go, stop and go in a long time. A long time, because typically when I go in for a shift, I'm on the road at 6, 6.15 in the morning, and traffic is not, it's non-existent at that point. So it free flows. I mean, it's starting. I think traffic really starts around like 7, 6.50, 7 o'clock. But this is crazy. I couldn't do this every day. I'd be going into work irritated. I don't know. Y'all that have to deal with like 8 a.m. I don't know. I guess traffic starts different times everywhere. But those of you that have to go to work at 8 a.m. and have to sit in this kind of traffic, do you go into work grumpy? Because I totally would. I remember when I was at my last job, we worked it was like a 25 minute drive and so Monday through Friday I would drive 25 minutes in the morning and 25 minutes back but it in the morning wasn't bad because we didn't have to be there till 9 so traffic was already done by that point I could leave my house at 8 30 and it was not a big deal on the way home we would get out at 4 30 and that's when traffic just started so if we got out any later than 4 30 I wouldn't get home till like 5 20 5 30 and that's on a 25 minute drive. I would be so irritated. I'd want to get home so bad. Be like, what the heck, traffic? Oh, it was awful. Those of you that drive in traffic, I definitely feel your pain. Because by the time I get off at the hospital, I'm not in traffic, you know, so it's not a big deal. And that's really the only time that I go out this direction. So, anywho, yeah, I'm headed to work at a complete standstill on the highway. Cold store is still hanging on strong. It looks better, but definitely not good enough. It's so ugly. I just can't get past how ugly it is. Was there a wreck or something? Like, literally, what are we doing? Anywho, I got up this morning and I was up at six anyway because I know I had to get ready for work. Luckily, on class days, we don't have to wear scrubs. You can wear whatever you want. You want. So I'm in workout clothes and tennis shoes. I don't know if I'll make it back in time to actually go work out before the desk has to go to his meeting. But I'm hoping to have that time. If not, I can go home and get the girls and come back out. So we'll kind of see play by ear. But because I had to be up anyway this morning, I did my Hollywood Studio Fast Passes, which hopefully all the Fast Passes I've done are going to work out okay I mean I don't know I've never been to Disney other than Animal Kingdom years ago and it, we didn't use fast passes like that was not even I mean I'm sure it was a thing back in 2009 but that wasn't something they certainly didn't have the Disney app so hopefully the way that I'm doing the fast passes works out I'm just gonna try and play by ear and let you guys know because I've never done it before so yeah I got some I did a Tower of Terror rock and roller coaster and uh, Toy Story Mania is gonna be closed while we're there. Fun stuff, I know that stinks. For the opening of Toy Story Land. And then, what's the other one? Oh, I got Star, Star Tours. We have a breakfast at Hollywood and Vine, so I'm hoping to get the girls Jedi training. I told Andres, I said, we need to let them watch Star Wars before we go so that they can be all excited for it. So, anyway, I'm gonna go do this class for three or four hours and then, I'll be out and go on with my day. Okay, I'm out of my class. That was torturous. Very long, very tedious, monotonous, but necessary. Gotta continue that education. So now I'm stopping at Walmart. I don't have time to go work out. It's already almost one. We got out a lot later than I anticipated. So I'm stopping at Walmart real quick to pick up eggs, bananas, one more thing, I don't really have time to like shop shop, but I'm gonna get a few things, so here we go. Okay, I got distracted, but this is what I'm talking about, Tara Sky, Tara and Sky. This is cute. This is cute, very tropical. This one's cute, they're all cute. Look at the leggings, that's super cute too. Maybe I just had to be a little bit more patient. I found some more shorts as well, one in dark, medium wash and lighter denim and I found a bathing suit cover up. I'm getting distracted. I need to go get eggs. Ah, damn. Oh, yeah? What happened? 
Come I on. Miss that dog. I missed you. Do you sleep good? Sissy's downstairs. You want to go see her? You ready? Yay. I have a splitting headache, so I just took some medicine. Don't mind this. It's like the Abreva that I'm just piling, piling, piling on. Uh, we are having leftovers for dinner, and it is breakfast. I had some leftover sausage. I want to do Oh. I had some leftover sausage um, from breakfast the other day. My honey bunny's meeting went well, so that's exciting. He's already back. Leftover breakfast sausage. I told you guys we're trying to use up what we have. 26 days till vacation. Um, so, breakfast sausage, we had some pancakes. I just went and bought eggs at Walmart. I got eggs and bananas, and I got three new pairs of shorts. That thing looks really bad with that with that medicine on it. It looks really bad. Um, I got three new pairs of shorts that should last me all the shorts, the new short sizes that I got should last me the whole rest of the summer, so that's great. I got the white tank top I needed for my shirt, and I found a bathing suit that I don't know if it'll fit or not. But that's about it. And then I got five dozen eggs. That should last us. Actually, it probably won't last us till the trip. I don't know, we go through five dozen eggs pretty quickly. I know, my fork fell in, so. Anyway, I'm scrambling up some eggs, heating up the sausage, and this is what we're doing for dinner, making it real simple. The girls are kind of excited, actually, because they're like, breakfast for dinner, what? We don't have breakfast for dinner very often, but it's a great way, especially like this morning, we had chorizo and beans mixed together over toast. <laughs> so it was kind of an unconventional breakfast, so we're going to have an unconventional dinner. It should be pretty good. Ad night night. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Adam, good night, see you tomorrow. Night night. With the ball. With the Say night night. Say night night. Say see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I love good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Alright, it's been a long night. I don't even remember the last thing that I vlogged. I think it was the girls saying good night. What was before that? I don't know. I've been at the computer. I've been contemplating getting an annual pass I know again I can't tell you anything else about Disney that those of you who love Disney don't already know but I can't wait to film a video of like all the things that I've learned one of them is if you purchase if you have enough days and you have enough people in your party and you're doing enough dining and you're doing enough shopping and those types of things you can purchase an annual pass for one person get a discount on food discount on merchandise um, you get free parking and free memory maker which is where the pictures that they take of you in the park so I already purchased a memory maker and we're staying off-site and renting a car which means we're going to have to pay for parking the memory maker is $169 parking is $154 for seven days so that right there, I only need 140 more dollars to qualify to get, or not to qualify, to get to the same cost as what an annual pass would cost. And we're doing, I, I went and calculated every single character dining meal that we have scheduled and we will save a little over $100 just in food by having the annual pass plus Nin bought a one day ticket, which was $122. I can get her a $79 ticket for getting an annual pass, which will save 40 bucks. So essentially, for the same cost of everything, we'll be a little bit ahead if we get one annual pass. So I've kind of been trying to figure that out all day and asking opinions of my Hinebini and my mom and what they think, even though it really doesn't matter. My mom is super chill. She's like the easiest person to travel with. Yeah, just let me know what we're going, doing. I'll give you my credit card number, buy me some gift cards. Like she does not care at all. So she was like, yeah, sounds like a good idea. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> 
let me ask my Hinmini. So he thought he was like, if the numbers add up, sounds like a good idea to me. Not that we'll go back again in a year, uh, but you never know. May have the opportunity to go back for a weekend or something at some point next year, and we'll already have one annual pass. So I'm kind of just been going back and forth with that all day. And I tried on a swimsuit. So I told you guys today I found a swimsuit at Walmart. So there's a swimsuit that I told you I found at Torrid, which I still love. It's roses with um, black and white gingham print, and it's just really expensive. Although I did see that they had 50% off swimsuits and it still was like 50 bucks so the one that i found at walmart super cute let me show you so the shorts i showed you guys that i bought last time that had like stars oh no they're in a haul i haven't showed you yet um they were 12 dollars, 12 and when i went back this time i found that they had dark denim medium denim i did show you that today and a lighter denim I love the way they fit. They're a size 20. They fit amazing. They're long enough that I don't get chafing in between my thighs. Great, great shorts. So I now have five pairs of shorts for the summer, which is plenty of shorts, but I have enough to take with me, and I think that's all I'm taking with me. Maybe one more pair of shorts, and that's it, and I will rotate twice. I'm done. <laughs> I just pair my shirts with it, and we are good to go. But for the swimsuit, I had been wanting to step out of the box a little bit and instead of a tankini which I still have plenty of plenty of tankinis with like shorts or something that's typically what I'm most comfortable in I wanted to step out into a high-waisted two-piece but like a longer two-piece that still covered up a bunch but was revealing enough so when I saw this one I've been really into this olive color and it has it's floral and tropical and it still has pink some of my favorite things so let me show you i am super excited i just tried it on it fits great the top it there, it's actually on the verge of being just a wee bit too big but they didn't have a smaller size i'd probably have to go to another walmart and i feel like i accidentally ripped the tag off this one because i found a tag on the floor earlier and i thought it was from my swimsuit cover-up but i bet you it was from this um so this is what the top looks like and it's roughly so the top the top is just has not yeah cups is that what they're called cups I was gonna say cuffs no and then it has this ruffle on the top and I love little girl bathing suits like this so when I saw it in adult size I was like oh yes but it actually covers quite a bit like it doesn't look like it it looks like a bikini but it covers all the way down like this goes all the way down to where this reaches so you can't see the front of my stomach at all you can see a little bit on the side but you can't see the front of it at all and then the back is a racer back with mesh almost looks like panties kind of right kind of weird and then it has the green rope with gold detailing and it has crisscross back here it's kind of hard to see crisscross and it ties off and again like this is super flattering this isn't a size 20 it's a 2x it's from the time and true line 2x it's a 2022 and um they only had this one in a size large which is a size 12 14 clearly i wasn't going to get that one but honestly i probably could have gone down if they had had like an 18 20 i probably could have done it but i think because this is technically the juniors line um i think the 1x is a 16 18 if I'm not mistaken and I don't know that I could have done that one so this one fits great and then the bottoms are a like military khaki green also in a 2x 2022 and I did not try on the smaller version of these I actually had contemplated getting the bigger one because when I looked at it I was like oh I don't know that looks kind of small and like I said I put it on and it actually is a little bit big kind of like in the in this area it's a little bit big but definitely doable I would rather it be a little big than way too tight and this is very flattering like you would think oh my gosh all your <laughs> all the rolls are going to be hanging out but it's actually very flattering it barely shows uh, any skin when it's together it's not like one of those that shows a ton like you don't see a lot it's just barely any and it's high waisted so like I said it kind it holds in the mom tum and it goes right to my belly button and then this 
part hangs. So my backside, you can see more of my backside for sure. If I had my hair down, you can't see anything on top and just like a little sliver of my back. And then in the front, this completely covers it in a little sliver on my side. And then of course my legs are exposed. I do have a cover up. So this one I have, you've seen it before. I actually have it in black and white. And this was when they had the Catalina brand for swimsuits, which a lot of my swimsuits are the Catalina brand. So this is a 3X 2224. So you can see this is when they had different sizing because this is a 2X 2022. And now the 3X is a 2426. So I've had this for a long time. You can't get it anymore but they had a bunch of cute swimsuits cover-ups. I actually had one in my cart that was white and it was like free flowy and it had little pom-poms on the side that were different colors and I put it back because it was $17 and I was like, you know what? I have like six swimsuit cover-ups at home. <laughs> I'm gonna use those. So I actually tried the swimsuit on and then put this over it and it's super cute. Like most of the swimsuit pops out up here. It looks really cute. I also have a black one of these that it looked really good with as well. I have a pink one that I got from Hawaii and I also have a couple of sarongs. So if you have any suggestions for bottom cover up sarongs for plus size women, let me know in the comments below. Like if you have, I don't know, maybe I can look at Torrid. I don't know if they have cover up, swimsuit cover ups like that just to cover the bottom. I'm totally cool with part of my top hanging out. I'm uh, smaller on top than I am on bottom. So yeah, pretty much if my thighs are covered, I don't think anyone would really look at me and think, oh girl, you shouldn't be in a bikini, you know? <laughs> so Anyway, this lo it looked really cute together um, with these two, so I'm excited. And more than likely, I would wear my tankini to an amusement park with water because I feel like you're in more close proximity to other people. And this would be a beach or, um, like, I don't know, maybe for my, um, tropical vacation in October. I'm hoping this doesn't fit in October. That would be great. But if it does, swimsuits are usually pretty forgiving, even if they're a little bit too big. If it still fits in October, I'll wear it then as well. So yeah, super cute. So anyway, I'm going to clean out my cold sore, put some medicine on it and head to bed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow.